pretty interesting. Let's go to the tab to the left then. And now I'm gonna to go to my chart of accounts, which is in the accounting on the left-hand side. And then chart of accounts. If you're in the business view, by the way, you're looking in the bookkeeping area for the chart of accounts and then the chart of the accounts. So let's add just two in like an income line item. So I'm going to say it's going to be, I'm just going to say test customer income just for another income line item for the general group. And then I'm going to put the two income line items underneath it for the two classes. So I'm going to break it out in subcategory by location and by class, just so you can see both of the methods that we could use. It's an overkill to do both methods because you could use one or the other, but I just want to compare and contrast the two and see how you could assign them on the bank feed. So let's, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to say new, I'm going to say it's an income account and I'm just going to categorize it as test customer income. Now, normally I wouldn't make an income account for a customer, but we've talked about that in the past and this is a practice problem situation. So I'm going to do that. So actually up here, this is going to be an income line item. And then the tax line, I'm just going to say other primary income and there's the name and no description. So that looks good. So that's going to be my parent account. So that's gonna be down here in the income area. So assets, liabilities, and then income. And we've got our test customer income, which there's a lot of stuff going here. Where did it go? Don day. There it is. There it is. Okay. Don't get upset. It's there. Don't worry. All right. It's okay. I'm gonna do another one. We're gonna say this is gonna be under the test customer income now a subsidiary account to that and then i'm going to say test customer income location one this is my first location so it's it's a subsidiary you don't really need to say test customer because it'll be a sub account but i like to say it anyway so i'm descriptive about it so so it doesn't so i don't have an account it's just called location one you know, but you could do that if you want. I'm going to say save it. And then I'm going to make another one for location two. New. It's going to be income. Another income that's subordinate to the test customer income. And now it's going to be location numero dos. Two that is. There it is. All right. So now I, I can break my two locations out with the subsidiary accounts thusly. And I can break it out by and I can break it out by class. 